Let's go! Computers think in a very specific way. And if you understand how they think, you're going to understand how the world works. And that's going to make you more successful in everything you do. As a district, we didn't anticipate what was going to happen. I think when we started rolling out the Kinder Code program using Codable, that it was, OK, well, we're just going to do this one thing. And that what we found was it opened up the doors to a lot of conversations we wouldn't have had. When we introduced Codable to the students, I really like to kind of have a conversation with them, connect it to what they're doing as students. So in kindergarten, they're coming to school to learn their letters and their sounds to be able to read. And we like to connect that to how computers know how to read, too, and computers read code. And we kind of connect that then to what they're going to see in the game. If you want to teach computer science, I think you should approach it the same way as if you want to learn computer science. A lot of people, like, they want to they figure out what language I want to use, or what framework should I use, or what program should I buy, what kind of computer should I get. Really, you're, you're not going to know that up front. You just want to get started. I think the most important thing is to dive right in. A kid can go on an app and play but it looks just the same to them. They don't recognize what they're doing. They don't always make that conclusion, oh, I'm using conditionals, or oh, I'm learning how to do things step by step. That's where the teaching comes into play. And so having somebody do that via instruction and help them make that connection is also where you then take that connection outside of the app and into other areas. So we make a big effort to understand what teachers do in the classroom and how we can make them most successful teaching it, even if they don't know computer science themselves. And everything we do that can make it easier is just gonna help them. And ultimately, it's gonna help the kids, which is what's most important. Puzzles are all online for the students, so they can progress and they're practicing the skills on their device. But as a teacher, you get to go in and you can model the lessons, you can introduce the language to them, you can scaffold it. So that way when they go and they're playing by themselves, they're building their understanding based on what you've provided them before they get to play. Not just trying for the kids in terms of like, I'm willing to try something new and different. It became something different for the teachers too and was made it so that oh, I can explore other areas of technology because I'm starting to feel comfortable. From going around to different classrooms and supporting our kindergarten teachers use Codable, I've had a lot of positive feedback from teachers. You're teaching students one of the most transformative subjects you could possibly teach them at an age where some of them can't even read yet. There's a magic to that. To them, it's fun um, and it's engaging. And Codable has great resources online that you can follow their lesson plans. You can read through it and you can do it word by word or you can skim through and make it work for you and your students. Just try. Go with the getters. Don't give up. Okay, we're gonna code today. <laughs>